What is going on, folks? Nimble Flaw here, and thanks for joining me once again in my mobile gaming quest where I play a new mobile game every single day and I share the experience with you guys here on YouTube. And I'm excited today because we're gonna have some good old fun playing Senovac. I think that's how the game pr is pronounced, at least. Why do I always force myself to pronounce them, man? And, and what a horrible name, right? It sounds kind of German? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below if you know what Senovac even means. Does it mean anything? I'm not too sure. But it's a great game regardless of its name or how it is pronounced. It is made by the Space Marshals 2 developers. Why couldn't they call it something like that? Space Marshals? Alien Marshals, maybe? I don't know. I'll stop with my horrible humor now, guys. We're just gonna have a look at the game. It's really great. It's free to play. The download links are down in the description box below, as always. So if you're into top-down, alien smashing, 60 frames per second running, controller-supported games, definitely go check this one out. Overall, the game is split into these different levels that we kind of have to run around this maze of smaller rooms, trying to figure out how to complete it without dying, obviously. We've got some power-ups on our suit that allows us to, for example, generate more health. If we need that, we can generate 100% of our health. You guys can see that we can do that over here on the right side. Actually, let me just do that right now, and bam, we are back to, I think, yes, 100% of our HP, but what we gotta do here is that we gotta find the boss monster which is hiding somewhere in here, not entirely sure exactly where. We're gonna kill it, and then we're gonna extract out of here. So this uh, sort of setup is is something I've seen in many different games before, but what I like about this one is that it's just, it, it's so simple. There isn't a whole lot of, uh, you don't have to wait to unlock new areas of the game, you don't have to pay to unlock some of the later levels, uh, you don't have to wait for chests to open, it's just a simple top-down twin-stick shooter, and it's a lot of fun. And of course it's set in this kind of interesting alien, alien sort of universe. I'm not entirely sure what the story is here, there's a bit of story in the beginning of the game and then a little bit later on as well, but there isn't too much story to it, really it's, honestly it's mostly just about killing these bosses, killing these aliens, Enjoying a game at 60 frames per second, if you haven't done that before, or just enjoying yet another game that you can play with your controller, if you've got a controller. Now, the upgrading system is very simple as well. We're gonna have a look at that once we finish this level here. If we can figure out how to get out of here, maybe it's this way. I'm gonna go this way for now, at least. The upgrading system allows us to uh, upgrade our guns, or, well, actually buy new guns. You upgrade the guns as you use them, but you can buy new guns, and you can buy new equipment as well. Honestly, I would go for buying new weapons. We're gonna go have a look at that after we finish this one. I haven't bought a new weapon yet, but it's just that buying a new weapon seems to have such a big impact on the damage per second, whereas upgrading your suit only gives you one more ability, such as the ability to heal up that we've uh, got right now and to run faster. Only one more ability, and, uh, and only just a little bit extra speed and maybe some extra HP, not sure about that. But the guns seem to increase a lot in damage per second, so definitely it's, it's something you want to go for uh, very early in the game, I think. What? Look at that, guys. So much radioactivity over there. I think this might actually be... Yes, I think... No, okay, we have to kill this one and then we have to extract out of here. Let's switch over to the shotgun here, which we've already got on us. It should be pretty strong. Yes, we took it down very easily and now we just have to make our way to the elevator, which it seems is... Nope, it's not over here. That was... Sort of a dead end, we couldn't get out of there, let's see, we probably have to move back here. There's a bit of help on the left side of the screen, you guys can see a short, a small arrow that kind of moves around, telling us where to go, so we've got some help. So it's not even as if it's a, it's a huge puzzle to finish these levels. I guess it's, it's just to have some good old fun killing zombies. Aliens. Aliens, not zombies. <laughs> killing aliens. I've played so many zombie games, I think I'm just getting used to saying zombies at this point. But this is an alien game, guys, don't get confused. How do we get in there, though? That's what I'm confused about. Do we have to go over here? Is that it? I think like we're, I feel like we're running into another dead end here. Maybe we have to go all the way over here then? I'm guessing that is probably it. Anyway guys, when we finish, we're gonna get rewarded with some gold, which we can then use. You can see that we've already collected so that we have 4,000 gold at this point. Uh, we gotta watch out for that radioactivity over there. Um, so that 4,000 gold we're definitely gonna use on a new weapon and maybe also a new suit. We're gonna ha go have a look at that right now actually because we found the elevator. Elevators and now we can finally get out of here. Let's look at this. Yes, we made it. And hopefully this all loads very quickly, proving my point that the game runs so smoothly. I do expect that you'll be able to play this game on any device. Uh, really very very old devices as well because it's very minimalistic. Okay, look at this guys. We can buy a very good weapon. Look at this. This one unlocks later on though, but we can buy, let's see, we can buy this one, the Predator, which has, let's see, 
2500 damage per second whereas this one has 406 what are the other differences uh, rate of fire is 10 whereas it's it's five on this one so it's a bit slower we've also got a oh that looks like a flamethrower that is so cool though and we've got another assault rifle over here probably gonna go with this one just because it's the most expensive one it looks kind of cool and i kind of want to try it so we're gonna buy it right now i know this means that we won't have enough actually we gotta remember to switch over to this one so let's continue with this one. I know this means we won't have enough to buy a new uh, armor here, as you guys can see. But as I said, I don't really care too much for that. It's only going to add a little extra armor. Well, actually, it's going to nearly double it up. Huh, seems I was wrong. Should have probably, <laughs> should have probably saved up for that then. But anyway, guys, we're going to go back into one of the other levels here. We are now on floor 9 out of 10. You can buy gold for real life money, uh, though, so that's how the game monetizes, and you can also watch an ad to get some free gold. I encourage you guys to do that if you want to speed it up a bit, but honestly, I don't feel like it's really necessary to buy any of the in-app purchases um, and, uh, and, and, and even watching the ads. I haven't felt the need to buy stuff so far, but obviously, if you want to finish the game quicker, I guess that's typically the way to go, right? And that's uh, probably what this game tries to make happen, like hopes that some of you guys will buy some of the in-app purchases. But uh, what I will say, though, is that the game certainly doesn't seem to force the in-app purchases, and uh, they also don't seem to make the game a grind, which uh, is kind of the most horrible thing any game can do, but many games sadly does, is that, especially in RPG games, is that they make, uh, they make the games very, very grindy, very grindy, so that you really, really want to buy those inner purchases to be able to progress a bit quicker throughout these levels here. I feel like we've definitely got some extra attack power here. Look at how fast we took down that boss that took a long time before. And look at this one over here, this flame throwing, of a flame bomb throwing guy over here. We took him out very, very quickly as well. But guys, what do you think about this game? Let me know down in the comment section down below. I've left the download links in the description box if you want to check it out for yourselves. And otherwise, I just uh, look forward to reading you guys' comments. And until next time, guys, it's keep gaming, stay awesome, and I will see you guys around.